Yarbo is an innovative universal autonomous yard robot that fulfills all year-round yard care needs. Thanks to its unique design, no perimeter cable is required, so you no longer need to bury any wires or cables in your yard. New but powerful Yarbo can mow the lawn, blow snow from the driveway or sidewalk, and blow leaves or debris on the ground, with many more modules to add additional capability to the pipeline. Yarbo has a multi-function integration system that enables various modes of work by combining the main body with different functional modules. The basis for Yarbo's combinations simplifies seasonal maintenance into independent modules which are all carried out from a single unit. The Racebird is a single-seater electric powerboat with two bright green hydrofoils that allow it to glide above the water. This is the world's first all-electric raceboat, combining a sleek and futuristic design with innovative hydrofoil technology. Above the cockpit is a protective enclosed canopy, designed to protect the driver as the racebird uses its hydrofoil ingenuity to actually lift itself out of the water to improve both aerodynamics and energy efficiency. It is capable of reaching speeds of 58 miles per hour, can reach a peak power output of 150 kilowatt, and has a battery capacity of 35 kilowatts or two full charges per race event. The Lead Luggage Kawurabot Electronic Smart Suitcase is an advanced robotic suitcase that autonomously follows its owner. Kawurabot is equipped with a range of sensors that allow it to follow a person and adapt to their pace of walking, as well as to avoid collision with other people without falling from unfenced areas or stairs. In addition, the robot suitcase will not get lost in the crowd, as it is able to find its owner within a radius of 80 meters and also works without a remote control. This is one of the safest luggage options. It is equipped with a smart as well as an electronic lock that can be controlled via an app, and the NSA technology lock ensures that luggage will be convenient for screening. London-based startup Bellwether Industries has released a video of the first unmanned flight of its Volar Evefil flying car prototype. A new test flight video shows we are in the midst of a flying car revolution, driven by new Evefil designs that are increasingly taking to the skies. According to Bellwether, the main Volar model will fly at an altitude of about 9,000 meters, reaching speeds of 217 kilometers per hour. Battery life expected to be approximately 90 minutes. Volar is designed to move around the city. The final version will be approximately 3.2 meters wide and seat up to five passengers. Willow X is the ultimate outdoor robot with arms to enable hundreds of tasks. The robot can perform tasks such as mowing the lawn, weeding and picking fruits and vegetables. The EVE robot concept was first demonstrated in 2021 based on the design of his first Willow device. Willow X has mechanical arms to help it perform a range of jobs, and it can carry items in its body. Another potential application of the device is garbage collection. According to EVE, Willow X has artificial intelligence capabilities and a 4K camera to help it detect objects and avoid unnecessary obstacles. Willow X can last up to 6 hours on a single charge, while Willow X Pro can last up to 8 hours. Other features of the gadget include offline navigation, rain detection, and the ability to climb slopes up to 25% for the standard model and 35% for the Pro. The device is still in development and is expected to be released in 2024. The EDEG CityBot is an emission-free, multifunctional, fully autonomous robot vehicle with swarm intelligence. Thanks to its modularity and multifunctionality, the EDAG CityBot operates around the clock and adapts itself to meet real-time logistics needs for the transport of goods and people. The futuristic design of the EDAG CityBot vehicles is concise and unique in every respect and comprehensively reflects the highly progressive approach to form and functionality. A wide variety of functional modules are attached to a drive robot. This robot also communicates with the help of its head avatar. It can speak and hear, recognize gestures and facial expressions, and even act as a guide around the city. Zome is a reclusive steel pod for work, rest, and play. Anthony Hodson designed the Zome to tackle the frustration and boredom people began to feel while working from home during the pandemic. Although offices have slowly begun to open up, there are a large number of people who still work from home or follow a hybrid model of working, one which involves working at home and at the office. In such a scenario, it can still be difficult to maintain a work-life balance, since you do tend to spend a lot of your time confined to your home. 
The pod's conceptualization was developed over four years, and its first prototype was built from a 1 to 5 scale model in just eight weeks. The Jet Shark is a brand new submersible boat, designed to provide the unique experience of diving below the water's surface in a much roomier, more user friendly watercraft. The spacious air conditioned cab has comfortable seats for four adults and two controls in the front seats. Safety has been Jet Shark's primary focus throughout its development. Even if the entire vessel is totally submerged in water, it will always be buoyant and self riding due to its static flotation. While making shallow dives, a variety of onboard cameras, sensors, and lidar will ensure the Jet Shark stays far away from other boats and waterway users. The Jet Shark is expected to cost between $200,000 and $300,000 at retail. The Cybercat appears to be a remote controlled scale model. With a sharp, angular silhouette and very few curves, the sleek electric vehicle is the mirror image of its muse, but is fitted with wide tracks that allow it to cut through a thick white blanket of snow. Although you can technically use it for play, it's the upcoming Cyblower attachment that unlocks its potential. The add-on is still under development but should turn the Cybercat into a versatile tool. As for power, the Cybercat runs on a standard 775 electric motor and four 12-volt batteries. The aluminum transmission, meanwhile, can be easily set to high-speed or high-torque modes. The Cybercat starts at $1,299, but you'll need to fork out an additional $120 for the electronics kit to power it and another $80 for the optional radio. Helix Neptune is a 400 kg amphibious robot that excels at water characterization. Helix amphibious robots can successfully traverse hard ground, mud, tailings, snow, ice, and water. With four screw, skid steer capabilities, Helix can maneuver specialized payloads into the most inaccessible of terrains. Workers remain in safe environments while robots do the dangerous work. Robots require fewer labor and equipment hours and are less expensive than conventional equipment, allowing more timely information to be gathered at lower cost. The Helix Neptune carries a sonar system that can be used for underwater search, as well as a series of lights and cameras that can aid rescuers, 